Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of Gigantic Jewel Loss, and we are doing raft making, and we had to figure out what numbers need to be in each of these slots so that we can reach the goblins. What a neat idea. Uh, before I struggled figuring out what would fit in here, but I think a 2 would do just fine. The top bit of the 2 could fit into there, and the bottom bit could fit down in there. So the first number is going to be a 2. And then the next one is going to be, uh, it looks to be a 1 pretty clearly. I don't know what this is about. That's really confusing. Uh, this is going to be a 4. Um, this is a 7. A 5, because the reverse of that. And 5s look like reverse 2s for some reason. And this looks like it's probably going to be a 3. So I need to find out in binary uh, what number 214753 is. So I'm going to write probably... I could either do it with my calculator and a bunch of remainders, but that sounds lame. Um, so I'm going to write a quick program to figure it out. Let's see. No, I have a jump script up. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is a, a statistical tool that I like to use called Jump. That's pretty good for a scripting language, so let's see what I can do here really fast. I know the number is going to be some arbitrary length, so I'm going to just define an empty string that I will fill with zeros and ones later. That sounds smart enough to do. The highest number we can have is 18, so the index starts at 17. So 4i equals, uh, let's start with 17, yeah. Uh, so it's 17 and goes down to 0, where i is greater than or equal to 0, and at the end of it evaluate the i of normal. Okay, so for loop. Uh, we need a what? We need a starting number. The number we are working with is equal to uh, 214753. All of you who write actual programs are probably groaning right now because I'm using a scripting language. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not a programmer uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not a software engineer. I'm a statistician. I don't really enjoy compiling programs. <laughs> but I do enjoy writing them. Okay, so anyway, we have a number. And let's make uh, an if statement here. If, uh, and let's do a, a number remain. So num remain, num rem equals, and let's do, I'll just do that, num1, okay. So if num rem, so it's like the modulus, the modulus of num rem and 2 to the i is not equal. Okay, so if, if the if the number overflows, rather, if it's being divided by something bigger than itself, you'll just get the number uh, itself does not equal the num rem, which means it's the, which is the, right now the biggest number, meaning it actually has a remainder. Uh, two things are going to happen. First off, uh, num rem is going to be equal to the what's left over mod num rem to the i, so that immediately gives me the remainder of what's left. Oops, cannot type today. Where is my 6? There it is. Okay, it's dark in my room. And what else is going to happen? Make this prettier. Then do this. And it does this series commands, and da -da -da -da. do I need to do anything else? Uh, oops, this i is going to be going down, so i minus minus. Uh, it does that, and uh, string one is equal to concat of string one and the number one. Perfect. Else, and that's the comma there, string one equals the concat of string one and zero. So let's try that out. And that should work out fine. Close the for loop. Beautiful. So let's, and at the end we'll just... Okay, run that, and it, oops, what happened here? Did I screw my log? What did I forget? Oh, I can't spell. Let's try that. There we go. Numrem. Duh. And how about this time? Hmm. Okay. So that's apparently my binary right there. So I'm going to, uh, can actually print that. So. keep that over here to the side and now I can consider all right so let's see going by this one uh, one one skip one one skip three 
one, one, skip one, one, two, I'm gonna grab this one because it's at the end, and you. So this should all be two, one, four, seven, five, three. Goody. Go. Build. Build. Yes. Alright, so now if I've done this all correctly, I should be able to do what I want. Awesome. That was fun. Okay. Still concerned about that orb up top. Da da da. Da da da. Really wish I understood that. I feel like it's like a clue or something. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Can you get out of my way, please? I'm gonna kill you if you don't. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What a neat puzzle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna kill you if you don't get out of my way. I promise. Three. And the room is done. Alright, now I'm, I am a little concerned about why, uh... Yeah, like I can't get the, like the 7, there's no way it's going to get over there as far as I know. And there's nothing else that's going to get up there, obviously. So why this is here is sort of beyond my understanding. Unless I try to make some crazy change. I can fit a 1 around here, but that wouldn't do me any good. Um, not that I can really see anyway. So I'm just going to exit the room now and pretend that that little orb up there is, means nothing. And I haven't just lost my mind. Okay, cool. Well, that clears out that small bit. Uh, da da da. Now I've got nine of the fourteen. I still have to do this one. I feel like I'm missing, obviously, five secrets somewhere. And I have a feeling that one of them is, like, here. I have no idea how I would possibly get to this point. Uh, even from, like, a if I started the room this way, there's, like, no way... Uh, now well, we can just see. Sure, see what's going on. Now this, I can get him to drag the raft over, but I can't. I don't believe I can do that. Um, how did I do this before? I had him do it, didn't I? It just left me stranded there, and what? So then he drags the raft over, and that'd be perfect. If if I, I'd love to leave if I could, but then he goes and kills those two, and I could technically go this way. And uh, maybe I I want to. Is there any other like hidden bonus raft that I've missed? I do see there's a breakable wall there, but that shouldn't make a lick of difference. I can't actually, because see, once I cross that, I I drop the door and the door closes, so I can't do that real easily. It seems like there has to be a way. But at this point, it's like, well, what's the point? Um, there's no obvious crazy raft feature that I can see uh, that would make any difference in the world here. So now that the room is clear, even if I came back this way, uh, I can't reach this raft because the second I cross this, uh, the door closes. And I can't go up this way, so like, what's the point? This is another problem. I can't obviously go here. However... If I go here after it's finished, I can't actually access this point uh, either that I can see because the room above it has these little things going on. So it's like, what's the point? However, I can do this puzzle, I suppose, even though I really, really, really don't want to. Um, I've done everything else. I don't know how to get to the other secrets. There might be one here, but how am I supposed to know again? It's like, the only weird thing that I, I don't know what to do about is this. This is confusing to me. This is upsetting and confusing. I don't know what it's for. Um, but it's there. Everything else is pretty much panned out. And I don't know what to do about it. Because either of these locations don't make sense to me. This guy doesn't have a bonus raft that does anything intelligent. Uh, this, yeah, I'm, I'm missing something here. These all at least had like some sort of dock. Or a place where that I could 
you know, do things, but nope, nothing. I've run out of time. This has been your host, Pearls. I will guess I will work on this one next time until I figure out where to go. Until then, bye bye